Are you filming me? Yes, I am. Hello. It's 7.30. Please excuse all this. I've been up all night. Okay, that's it. I didn't commit first degree murder. There was no premeditated anything. I don't... That is actor Michael Jace who was charged with murder. On that note this next story will be that of a beautiful couple with a nice family and happy home until everything went south. We would be diving into the story of April Jace who was murdered in cold blood by her beloved actor husband, Michael Jace. We will be talking about how obsession at its finest can lead into absolute destruction of another person. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. April Jace was born April Denise Lawn on May 6, 1974. She attended Hawthorne High School in Hawthorne, California. Then she attended California State University in Fullerton for college. By 40 years old, April ran with the Elite Health Squad and afterwards with the Trojan Masters Club. She was the 2013 Southern California USA Track and Field W35 Champion in 100 meters. W35 is a category that comprises of female competitors that reach the age of 35. She also placed second in the Mount Sac Relays W35 Invitational event. April climbed as high as fifth in the United States and was a 2011 World Championship finalist individually in the 100 meters and earned a gold medal on the USA 4x100 meters relay team as well. April also held a degree in early childhood and adolescent development and was a schoolteacher in the Los Angeles Unified School District. Later on, she was a financial aid counselor at Biola Institution, a private Christian university 30 minutes west of Los Angeles in La Mirada, California. Additionally, she was married to Michael for almost 10 years. Michael Jace was born in Peterson, New Jersey on July 13, 1962. He was an actor in the past. He portrayed the nice guy in TV and movie roles and is most remembered for playing a religious and even more deeply closeted police detective Julian Lowe of television drama The Shield, which ran from 2002 to 2008. Michael has had tiny parts in movies like The Great White Hype. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he wanted to call himself. Duck. He also had a title role as Michael Jordan in the 1999 TV movie on the NBA Great Michael Jordan and American Hero. At the time of her death, the couple had two sons, Nemia, eight years old, and Caleb, five years old. April also has an adolescent son called Savoy Brown from a prior relationship with a guy of the same name. The married pair attended church frequently and lived her beliefs. Despite this, Michael's fears and financial worries continued to cause problems. Everything was going right until Michael was out of work for years, and so there were financial troubles that placed a strain on your marriage. Not only was there a financial strife between a couple, but Michael had habits of questioning the fidelity of his wife April, which really weakened the stability of their marriage. Allegations of cheating came to its head when, late in the evening on May 19, 2014, law enforcement was called to the couple's address in the 5400 block of Brynhurst Avenue, the Hyde Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, where April was found shot to death. She was shot in both of her legs and in her back. The night before the incident, April's teenage son Savoy and her adult nephew Christopher visited the couple's home, and they went to a movie with April and then slept overnight. The morning of May 19, 2014, Christopher was startled out of his sleep when he heard Michael, yelling, you don't have a godly reason for a divorce. There was a big commotion between Michael and the children which involved the children defending their mother with a baseball bat. Michael then repeatedly said, would never put my hands on your mom. Fifteen minutes later, before 8 a.m. April left with Christopher to drive her five and eight-year-old children to school. Afterwards, April texted Michael's friend Brown to ask him to check on Michael. So Brown texted Michael, when trouble comes, be full of joy. Michael answered, may be too late. April wants out, and I'm tired of pleading. That evening, at almost 6 p.m., Brown again invited Michael over, which he texted back I appreciate it, but shit is going to hell fast and I wouldn't be good company. Michael sent 95 text messages to April on the day she was murdered, and she responded to many. There was a total of 164 text messages between 9.43 a.m. and 12 p.m. 
April texted Michael at about 10.45 a.m. saying I don't want you throwing things and breaking things and screaming lies to the boys. I am afraid to come home. I am glad you are praying. April and Michael continued to text about their marriage, and at around 6.45 p.m. she apologized that I'm not the perfect Christian woman you thought you married. At 8.23 p.m., Michael texted April's stepfather Carlos, saying, Come get the boys, I just shot April. Carlos and April's mom Kay got into their car to drive to April's home. Carlos called 911 and told dispatchers about the frightening text. My son-in-law called me and uh, texted me and said he come get the kids because he shot April, our daughter. Okay, are the police on the line? Yes. Hey, sir, are you at that location? You no, know, we're, we're on the 405 headed there now from Long Beach. Oh, okay, so you're quite a ways out. Yeah, we're a ways out yet. Okay, well, we've got police and paramedics on the way, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Sir, I'm going to stay on the phone with you, okay? Okay, Godspeed, please. His wife, Michael Jace, is best known for his role as a police officer in the series The Shield. And Eyewitness News reporter Leo Starr with us live in Hyde Park with that investigation, plus a look at allegations of domestic abuse in the actor's past. Leo? Well, police say the 911 call came from the actor's cell phone following the shooting here at his home. 51-year-old actor Michael Jace, best known for playing a police officer on The Shield, was placed in handcuffs soon after his wife was killed last night in the couple's Hyde Park home. What I'm told now is uh, April had come home with both boys from baseball practice and it doesn't appear that they were home for more than you know, 10, 15 minutes when the shooting occurred. It's still unclear if there's any type of dispute or argument leading up to the shooting. Yeah, I didn't hear the gunshots. Uh, a couple of the neighbors heard them. I seen the police escorting the kids down the street and that's when I believe something was very serious. So I stepped outside and heard like a pow sound. I said, what is that? Next door neighbor Shirley Harding says that pow was the first sound she heard. And when it was followed by more of the same, she knew something terrible was happening. And I heard a pow pow after that three shots. I said, that's gunfire. Neighbor Brandon Cook says Jace, his wife and two young sons appeared to be a happy family. Now this. I was shocked. I was totally shocked. Along with TV roles, Jace appeared in feature films including Forrest Gump and Planet of the Apes. Police say the boys were not hurt and are with their grandparents. Michael called 911 at 8.31 p.m. and reported the shooting, telling them that he shot his wife. Michael also said that he wanted paramedics because he said that he didn't intend on killing her. April was found lying on her back in the hallway. Michael was taken into custody and was later booked on May 20th at 3.37 a.m. for his wife's murder. The bail was set at a million dollars. The next day, detectives interviewed Michael. Michael told authorities that he got upset about the text he and April exchanged during the Maya's baseball game. He assumed they had turned a corner, but April decided not to try to work it out. Because of this, he was in pain and wanted her to feel the same. April was a runner, so he shot her in the legs. He mentioned that he had been drinking and was holding a gun belonging to April's dad and it was fully loaded. Michael said that April lunched at him and even mentioned that there was a knife on the table and suggested that April may have tried to use it on him. However, authorities didn't find any knife lying around. He said that as he tried to push her way, the gun went off and he ended up shooting both her legs and then her back. He claimed that before the shooting he had never laid a finger on her, mentioned that they were happy except for the money. Although Michael admitted to shooting and killing his wife, he still pleaded not guilty. Jace appeared in court for his formal arraignment this morning. Jace entered a plea of not guilty to charges he murdered his wife. Eyewitness News reporter John Gregory joins us now live from the downtown L.A. courthouse. John. Well, Philip, a lot of courtroom housework uh, undertaken in today's hearing. Michael Jace did enter a formal plea of not guilty. And for now, at least, he's going to remain in custody. He can't make bail. Appearing in an orange jail jumpsuit, Michael J. sat quietly as attorneys discussed the charges against him. The 51-year-old actor is accused of murdering his wife, April, in the couple's Hyde Park home back in May. Chase is pleading not guilty. At this point in time, the prosecution has turned over some discovery. They have not turned over everything. We're still waiting on a couple things. Um, and the date that we picked is kind of like just a follow-up to check up on the case to see where it's at, the status of the discovery, status of any motions, anything like that. His lawyers believed what he did was in the heat of the moment, so they planned on going to trial to fight the charges. Michael faced 50 years to life. However, 
the trial had to be put on hold so that Michael's lawyers could gain access to April's iPhone 5S. Both the prosecutors and defense lawyers believed that the iPhone would benefit and strengthen their cases. So authorities were able to hack into her iPhone with the help of an outside party. Hey, about the hacking of an iPhone that belonged to the murdered wife of S.H.I.E.L.D. actor Michael Jace. Eyewitness News has obtained court documents about her phone, and we are also hearing from Jace's attorney about the charges the actor is facing. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez has more now at 5. From the couple's Hyde Park home, actor Michael Jace called 911 to report a deadly shooting, telling the dispatcher he had killed his wife April. It's not a whodunit case. We're not saying that it was somebody else that came in the house. What his defense team believes is that information on April Jace's phone may explain more about an argument that preceded the shooting, showing a lower level of culpability. Instead of murder one, perhaps manslaughter. What is revealed in court papers is that April Jace had an iPhone 5S. It is similar to the one used by the San Bernardino shooter, which ultimately was opened by an independent expert after Apple refused to help. A search warrant shows that Apple did help LAPD open April Jace's phone last year. It is not known from documents what level of assistance was needed. What concerns the Jace defense team is what happened after data was extracted. When LAPD checked the phone this year, the iPhone did not turn on. Jace's trial has been delayed as LAPD and the defense team have hired independent experts not only to re-enter the phone, but to pull out more data. What I will tell you is we have concerns about chain of custody. We have concerns about the moment that the phone was seized to today. How hard can it be to extract data from a smartphone? A whole issue of collection of information from smartphones is rather complex. On the 10th try, the phone would be then deleted, the contents of the phone. As for Jace's case, data has now been retrieved. A defense expert will try to determine whether anything was lost in the process before the trial starts May 23rd. During the trial, prosecutors focused on Michael's jealousy in controlling behaviors and how obsessed he was thinking about his wife's non-existent infidelity in one instance, it was mentioned that Michael was bitter about his wife competing on a co-ed team. His reason for his bitterness was because he felt like it was taking up too much of April's time away from him, and he was also jealous that she was engaged in physical activity with other men on a team. Prosecutors also mentioned that Michael became obsessed with the idea that his wife wanted another man and that she only wanted a divorce because she was having an affair. But there was no evidence during the trial that supported any idea of infidelity. The defense says that Michael takes responsibility for the failed shooting, but that his mind wasn't right at that time, that the shooting was an accident, and urged the jury to question the prosecution's case. However, the prosecutors told jurors that it wasn't an accident and that Michael intended to kill April by shooting her not once, not twice, but three times with a revolver that requires him to pull a heavy trigger. The prosecutor also cited a testimony from the couple's young son, who told jurors that his dad told his mom, if you like running, then run to heaven before firing the second time. Prosecutors insist Michael Jace knew what he was doing. Each time he thought and he said yes. <clears throat> Again, yes. When he shot his wife in the couple's home while their two young sons were in another room, the 53-year-old angry she wanted a divorce. He snapped. Bam, bam. Because in that moment, he saw her running away. His defense attorney says Jace, who had been drinking, was upset and simply snapped. What's in his mind? The defense says Jace had been trying to save his marriage. That's a sign of losing control. That's a sign of being out of your mind. The prosecution says Jace was deliberate in his actions, even luring her to the home, but telling her he was not there. Knowing the consequences and then decided to kill. Prosecutors pointed the couple's eldest son's testimony, what he heard his dad tell his mother, an avid runner. You like to run, why don't you run to heaven? The defense again points to Jace's emotional distress. I wanted a wife who had committed her life to God, but that's not what I got. Time shall leave by. Is he talking about murder? An intent to kill first degree murder. After the jury deliberated on Friday, Michael Jace was sentenced to 40 years to life in prison after tearfully apologizing for fatally shooting his wife. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Michael Andrew Jace, guilty of the crime of murder of April Jace. 
It took the jury of six men and six women just about two hours to reach a verdict, finding the 53-year-old former actor of The Shield guilty of second-degree murder in the 2014 fatal shooting of his wife, April. It happened in their Hyde Park home with their two young sons in the house. Jurors also found true that Jace personally and intentionally used a firearm, a special allegation that could add 25 years to life to his sentence. It was definitely a murder, and the right outcome happened. In closing arguments Friday, prosecutor Tanaz Mikhayev told jurors Jace was obsessed with his wife, who was trying to leave him amid allegations she had been unfaithful. While Mikhayev argued Jace had planned the murder, the defense countered it was not premeditated, that Jace was trying to save his marriage, but in that confrontation, he snapped. It's really hard to come up with words for it when you when you done what you've done and have to deal with the consequences, but um, he understands second degree. And his big thing was it wasn't premeditated. The verdict comes just days after critical testimony by Jace's 10-year-old son, who recounted hearing his father tell his mother, if you like running, run to heaven, before shooting her in the leg. Each time I have to see his face, even if it's from behind, it's really depressing. In court today, April Jace's 20-year-old son from her first marriage telling us he's happy with the second-degree murder verdict. I'm still trying to comprehend myself. i just like to see the sadness on his face that he realized it because it seems like every now and then there's moments of sadness and moments of not. And those moments of not really get me questioning, you know, like how, how can you go that far? How can you say those words? How can you do that? Do you think there's been justice here? Almost. She was really happy all the time, as much as she could be. And no matter what, even if something was sad that was going on, she'd, she'd do her best to be happy. And that's what I feel like she's doing now if, if there is an afterlife. But he still insisted he didn't mean to kill her. Michael said to his wife's family that his actions weren't justified that night and that he was sorry for what he did. He also felt the need to let them know that he never planned to kill her. April's mom angrily shook her head and walked out of the courtroom in the middle of his comments. Overall, Michael was convicted of second-degree murder with the intentional and personal discharge of a firearm. Cousin death he was sentenced to 15 years to life for second-degree murder and a consecutive 25-year sentence for the firearm enhancement for a total of 40 years to life. Apparently, this wasn't Michael's first experience of domestic violence based on people who knew him. A woman described as a close friend of Michael's first wife said in a sworn statement that she saw Michael beat his then-wife in the late 1990s. In 2006, he sent her an email which read Do you want to have a fucking war with me? I will fucking kill you. It's unknown whether April was unaware or ignored Michael's abusive nature towards his ex-wife and his son, but she may have only wanted to see the goodness in him and as a former actor, Michael may have been able to hide his true character to deceive her. April J was loved and cherished by those who were fortunate enough to know her and to be around her positive glow. Our sincere condolence to the friends and families of April. May April's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe and see you guys in the next video.